Okay, we've got our flat area. Now let's start being creative with rocks, okay? I'm going to start off with a larger rock and let's see, we're going to start with a large rock in this area, which means let me put a glob of mud there, stick it in, uh, take a small rock for support right underneath there, make sure I get it to stand on its own. Okay, we're on a roll. Now we're starting to get going. It's, yeah, and just make sure that you have enough cement to secure your area. You can start being creative. Look at your rocks. Select rocks. You're building, you are building a short mountain, okay? small little mountain scape and don't be afraid to cement these babies together the stronger you get them together the more mud you have in them okay but you don't want the mud to be too obvious because once you've created it you know, you, you want to see the rocks and the plants not necessarily just the rocks okay we got rock there. Now I'm looking for a flatter area. Okay. This rock is not as secure as I would like to see it. I will put a brace in the back. mud in you know, you're cementing this together just remember that so you want to make sure and and all of this these little areas where you're putting your rocks your mud in and everything else don't be too afraid because uh, that's a section like that you can have moss or a small little bush growing in there. It's part of your mountain uh, design. So don't be afraid to use structural rocks and stuff to, to make sure that you're nice, you're good and secure. As you can see, I'm cleaning the mud from around the perimeter. Okay, now let's go back to the front. Pick another rock now. I'm looking at different sizes, different structures. Oh, that's Pretty. That is some nice movement, possibly. And here, we just want to make sure that we have some a good drop off and tie them together so that they will support each other. Your pieces you need definitely have to be careful. Okay, we can put a platform in there. We can create, see, we're creating an island, that's what we're doing. And don't be afraid, don't be afraid to cement them together, fit them in, be as creative as you want to be, as you can be. It's a good idea to just work your rocks so that. 
if you're a mountain climber, if you enjoy climbing mountains, you can get a, a visual on what this mountain is doing. And I'm going to, you know, I just keep on cleaning. Keep on cleaning around the base perimeter. Don't be afraid. Right? Now, let's see. Let's put a flat section in here. Okay, that looks like it's going to be a good enough area. Right in there. Oh, yes. There's a flat section on my mountain, on my island. And I'm going to just work that mud in here. Right, look at that. It's coming together nicely. I know I'm in the back. I don't really see that much. But I'm getting a good feel on my balance and what it's starting to look like. I gotta wash my hands. Alrighty, make another choice of a rock. And try to keep the, the structure flowing with the rocks flowing in a decent continuity with each other and create pockets. You want to create pockets that you can plant in also. Don't be afraid. You know, even if you elevate some areas, drop some areas. This, this section here, yeah, got to find what I'm looking for, a, a flat rock that will support that. There we are. Right, a little bit of support. Now what I'd like to do, because I'm real high here, I'm going to create another barrier in there. Oh, look at this, look at that. Oh, is that too tall? No, I don't think so. I think it will give us a little, another view. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that meant to set in there? which means I'll need support here. Will it brace, will this small rock brace it? Yes, look at that. Give us some nice support there. So I'm gonna do is get some more mud in there so that it's sitting in mud with support. All right. Yes, creating a planter right in here, and then for more support, how about this one, like that one, yes, that looks like, it. yep, it's fitting in beautifully, give us a nice flat structure right there. It'll be a flatter area, that'll be an area that we'll create with moss or ground cover. Alrighty, now, uh, let's see, oh look at that, just like the edge of a, the ocean, we have boulders, look at that, where the ocean is just whipping up there, uh huh. lead through here we need one more rock right in there to close it up the flatter section not too big not too small not too high oh look at that that fits in just perfectly a little bit more mud in there oh yes Here we 
Ja. Right now, around the perimeter, I want to make sure, clean it up nicely, get all the excess material out of there. See, stuff like this, when it's dry, we pick it up and we can cut. We can cut that. That's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, clean off some of this excess mud. We don't need it in the, in the outer part of our island. i make it look nice and clean. Don't be afraid. material out of there. And around the back, because this is a three-dimensional, three we have to be able to look at this from every direction, all the way around. Okay. Okay, now, here we are. That wasn't too much of a deal, was it? Okay, let me see, do I have, I think I have enough support in there. Sure looks like it, feels like it. I'm gonna put a little bit more mud in here. Help hold this section. This is a large rock. I wanna make sure that it stays together. Don't be afraid, because this, this will be a pocket where there'll be dirt and a plant growing in this area, maybe a couple of plants. You know, we're creating a, a, a interesting planter. That's what we're doing. Okay. What I do would like to do, one second, I'll get to you. What I do like to do is that's why I have this cloth. It's just to wipe off any excess material of this cementous material. Uh, it, it is something that can be cleaned off at a later date with a little bit of acid water, you know, muriatic acid. It'll take some of this dust off of it and uh, get it nice and clean before we plant it, okay? There is the beginning of a Penjing Island. Okay? Get into it. Enjoy it. Now, what I'm going to do with this is we're not going to move it. We're going to leave it exactly where it is for at least 12 hours. Because you want to make sure that everything sets properly, dries up pr uh, perfectly, so that when we lift it up, it could be lifted up, as you can see, in one section. Okay? That's the general idea, that it doesn't fall apart. Right? So, I thank you for being with me. Watch for us. We're going to create a fin more finished island here. We're going to plant it. Um, I do believe I have opted to use a um, shimpaku, shimpaku cutting, small, gorgeous. I, there's a three-piece structure here on some small maples, Asa rubrum that I feel could, uh, could create a very nice outside structure for us with the juniper the side. And of course, here in Georgia, guys, these two plants grow together very well. Maples and, and, and uh, firs, pines, that type of thing, they blend in beautifully. They will handle each other well without fighting each other. Okay, thanks for being with me. Look for us in the future and check YouTube and Facebook, Bonsai with Merv, subscribe to us, 
Uh, tell us how much you like what we're doing. Don't be afraid to ask us questions. You can even use bonsai with move at gmail.com. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.